All right, we're back. So, last time we ended up meeting uh, Noah and Tara and found out that Tara's actually a Rosaru uh, attached to a wolf, so that's kind of odd. Uh, and then we also found out that uh, no Noah and Tara made it to the Genesis tree, um, but now they're fighting like a flying lion thing at the summit. And also, uh, Vaughn and Meta are now just basically rushing to the top to help out the Rosaru that Meta senses. So here we go. Alright, so we just fought a Vera, but I wasn't able to absorb it, so better luck next time. Now how does this go? Oh, there we go. Ooh. We get a speed elixir. So that'll function a lot like that power water um, one-time use. How do I get up to that one? There we go. Alright, so we're fighting a Vera and a Worm. I'm going to Tornado Flame the Vera, and I hope I absorb it. Oh, I don't think I killed that one. Hmm. The last time I did it, it worked in one shot, but whatever. Let's do a power punch at the Vera and finish it off. There we go, and I absorb the Vera. So now, like the Gimard, I have a Vera, and that little symbol that was beside it means that it has some sort of healing property to it, so I'm going to definitely use that to heal myself when I get the chance. Now I don't have enough for another Tornado Flame because I only have 28 AP in the bottom right corner, you can see that. So I'm just going to hit this thing with a power punch. Great, I leveled up too. Alright, so now we got that Vera in our inventory. Or spell inventory. Now I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. I feel like there's a treasure chest this way. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, a healing bloom. I'm pretty sure that's a lot stronger than the healing leaf. Okay, no, see, I remember that that is to uh, Noah and Terra, so I'm not going there just yet because there was that other side to go. Like here, I can go right instead of left. All right, so we fought a Vera and a Pump Bat, so I just wanted to get through that. And there's gonna be something this way. Oh, I feel like I just missed a ledge. We'll check on the way back. I think, yeah, I thought I saw something down there. A healing leaf, okay. And up, up some more. Where the heck am I going? I'm a little afraid of this. <laughs> okay, no, just the treasure chest. Vaughn's Fist. Now, notice how it has like a name to it. It's going to be specifically for him. Um, other people might be able to equip certain items like that, but you notice how it says uh, weapon for Vaughn, and then over here for the survival knife it says best for Vaughn or all. Uh, meaning anybody could use it, but only Vaughn can use the weapon that's like Vaughn Fist. That's why his name's in it. A cool little thing about that that I really like about this game is that if I had changed my character's name to Gordo, it would have said Gordo's Fist 
or Noah. If I had changed her name to anything else, uh, it would have been that for her weapons and armor. It's kind of cool. Um, so we've changed that, and you know what, I'm just gonna heal up uh, while I'm in here because I got some extra stuff. Oh wait, all those extra healing items were on Noah. Uh, whatever, I'm still gonna do it. And we'll go back the way we came and check that one spot. Alright, we got a worm and a pump bat. And notice how you can see his fist has now changed from holding the dagger to that glove. That's another thing I really like about the uh, game and the way that it does stuff with the armor and the weapons. Alright, I'm gonna just hit this thing with another tornado flame. I know it's not all that entertaining, but it is effective and quick. <laughs> Gotta love that little laugh of his. Alright, so back down the way we came. Uh, ooh. There we go. Now this is where I think I saw a ledge I could go to, further to the left, so we're gonna have to see. Nope, I see them, but they're probably just for the other side. Alright. Alright, so we just fought a Vera and a Pump Bat, which did a good amount of damage to me, so I'm going to heal that up. And yeah, the Healing Bloom heals everybody for 200. And we'll use the Healing Leaf. It's my last one, but I do have that Vera to heal myself if I need to. Plus I'm going to get the items from Noah when I meet her. Alright, back up the mountain. Alright, so just another fight there that we just skipped, and we should be going to the clearing now. Yeah, so you can see in the background there is Noah and poor Terra on the ground there, that flying lion thing. So as other ones you saw in the last episode, and like I said before, I'm going to be saving before I do this, because if I die, it's going to be all that progress gone. <laughs> Now, let's go and help them out. No, oh, Terra knows who it is. Yeah, yeah, I just said I was going to help her out. God, you guys are pushy for people who hear my thoughts and don't seem to listen to my voice. So now we get to fight this lion flying thing. Uh, together with both Noah and Vaughn. And as you can hear, the music is different now. Definitely more of like a boss fight theme. So it is cool here because Vaughn, uh, I don't know if I told you guys before, but I actually, uh, off camera, I were off recording. I leveled up this skimmard a bit that I had caught. And now that it's level five, it has an additional uh, side effect. It will reduce its attack power by a little bit. For her four attack, I'm gonna do the Swan Driver. Actually, no, I'm gonna do Spirit. I don't know what this thing can do. Here we have the Gimard. Well, that sucks. So it's supposed to do an additional. Yeah, no effect. It's supposed to do like an additional effect of attack power down 10%, but as you saw, it didn't do it, so I'm not 100% sure if that's because it didn't affect the boss because he's a boss, or if it's just that the thing missed, but I'm going to assume it's because uh, 
He's the boss. So, let's go Berserk with her Tempest Break because I love that attack. A little odd that that got slowed down, but whatever. I'm pretty lucky that both times he's attacked so far, he's hit the two people that I've made defend. So you have five things to use. Can I? No, I can't. So I think what I'm going to do... I don't know if this is going to work, but let's give it a try. I'm going to try and loop together, um... I'm going to try and loop together, uh, Power Punch and Tornado Slam. Okay, this is going to hurt. Oh, it actually killed her. That's not good. 218 damage. Well, it did work. So, I need to use... Oh, thank goodness. Their, uh... Their items are shared now. I need to revive her with the Phoenix. Vaughn has armor though. Oh, and he blocked, thankfully. So I'm going to have him use the Vera on Noah. I'm gonna have Noah. What I actually am gonna do instead actually is I'm gonna use that healing bloom for 200 HP on all of us since he is faster. I'm gonna have Noah charge up for another rush of scale. I thought he was going to go before the boss, but I was wrong. <clears throat> we'll have him use Vera on himself, and we'll use the Rushing Gale. I'd love to show off more attacks, but it's the most effective one for this uh, boss fight. Ugh, 148. I think I called that Rushing Gale when it was actually Tempest Break. <laughs> and here we have the Vera. And it just healed me pretty good. But I am running low on magic. Now I need to... It, it really sucks that Vaughn's kind of taken a healer role in this situation and uh, Noah's the attacker. But what can you do? Awesome. That's perfect. Blocking two out of the three attacks? I love it. He can attack next turn. So yeah, we'll just use the Vera again to heal Noah. And the cool thing is, is that every time you use them, I know I've said this before, and there it is right there, uh, their magic level increases uh, after a certain amount of uses. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I'm just going to hit him with a Tornado Flame. And you know it. Tempest Break. Actually, I'm going to try something else. I have seven commands, so I can weave together two of the four commands. Uh, that ends in an up. That starts in a down. That ends in a right. That starts... Okay, so we'll do Dolphin Attack, followed by... Oh, I don't think that worked properly. Uh, I've got... Oh, I only have six. I don't have seven, so I have to weave together... Is it possible to weave together a... Uh... Two fours. No, I'm gonna start this way. Up, up. Down, down. No. Uh, there's a way to do this, because I swear I've done it before. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm not gonna waste too much time. Uh, I'm going to do. 
I know that tough love can be combined with lizard tail, and I, I'm 100% sure I will uh, charm this thing. Yeah, the rushing gale would have been a better, or not the rushing gale, the tempest break would have been a better attack. Well, it ended up working out in the end. Perfect. So I love how he got the final attack and it says Bond's team uh, won the battle, but they both ended up leveling up, so that's perfect. Oh, I guess it just disappears. All right, let's take him over the tree. That lion really messed them up. Okay, so we're gonna give our strength to the Genesis tree. But we won't have a group of people to uh, pray with us. That heavens and earth being born thing again. Whoa! Ah, listen to that. And look at that tree go. Oh, my little aura. So this is our second Genesis tree now. So that means that, you know, we came out here to revive it to save Drake Kingdom. So I think it's going to reach. And uh, we'll have saved Drake Kingdom. Those poor souls will be freed from the Suru. I'll just look at it go. And there you have it. I gotta say, I'm surprised the Suru just disappeared. Because um, it was supposed to be that the mist made the Suru bad. So you would think that the Suru would just let go and stop being bad. But this works just as well. <laughs> and as you can see, there's all those treasure chests I can now go and get. So you bet your ass I'm going to. search out for some more Genesis trees now. Sounds like a plan to me. I mean, if this is going to get rid of the mist, I'm down. Oh! And Meta is now a level 2. Oh, Poor wolf. And just take note. Uh... Vaughn is wearing Maida on his right hand, or arm, and Noah has chosen her left. I think that's supposed to imply that she's left-handed. Of course we'll take you with you. You literally kick ass. All right. So, really cool thing is now that uh, Noah is fused with uh, Terra, she can now absorb Saru the same way that Vaughn has absorbed the Gimard and the uh, Vera. So I am going to save again because we did do quite a bit there and make our way to Drake Kingdom. But I'm going to end the video there because now that we've saved Noah and Terra, there really isn't much else to do except go to Drake Kingdom. So I want to say thank you to everybody once again for watching the video, and I hope you're enjoying it just like I am, and I hope you have a great day.